Seven years ago, six cows captured the hearts of the country. They escaped a St. Louis slaughterhouse and took off running through the streets of St. Louis. They ended up at a sanctuary created just for them that has been a lifeline for other animals too. Let's pause for The Gentle Barn. Tucked away on 27 acres, about 45 minutes outside of St. Louis in Dittmer, Missouri, sits a place with a menagerie of farm animals. <laughs> This is our covered arena, that we call it, and this is where the horses and donkeys live and where the cows winter. It's a place for animals that are both broken mentally and physically. They needed extensive dentals and podiatry, and they were both emaciated and very, very thin. To rehabilitate. They're really stunning, right? Oh my gosh, so yeah. shiny. Can I sit by you? Ellie Lax is the founder of The Gentle Barn, a place where Lax says the old, sick, and scared come to find refuge. You're so beautiful, Smudge. As a little girl growing up in St. Louis, Lax always wanted to save and fix animals. She started the first Gentle Barn location in her half-acre backyard in California 25 years ago. It's where her first rescue cow introduced her to something unexpected, cow hug Therapy. I was kind of stressed out from the day and I went in for kind of a hug and she wrapped her neck around me and held me. Story, may I hug you? Cow hug therapy is what the Gentle Barn is known for and how these guys helped introduce the unique practice to Missouri in a roundabout, dramatic way. This is Chico, he's the leader. So he crashed through three fences and led everyone else to freedom. On the north side! Seven years ago, Chico and five other cows escaped a St. Louis slaughterhouse and ran to freedom through the streets of St. Louis. The steers were captured and their happy ending story led them here. When I met Chico for the first time, I just knew he had to help them. Although one of the cows was sick and didn't survive, they will always be known as the St. Louis Six. At eight years old, the cows are still giving thanks through hugs. They have found a way to forgive and trust, and now they want to pay it forward to help others. Lax has written a new book, Cow Hug Therapy, which chronicles what she's learned from the gentle giants. We have so much to learn from them if we could just see them, love them, instead of what we're doing to them. Story, Kelly would like to hug you, okay, darling? One thing's for sure. Go ahead and put your face on her. We can all use a hug. Uh, every now and then, as for the St. Louis Six and the other animals, they've landed in a soft and gentle retirement home. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you, Smudge. I love you guys. And paying it forward in ways they cannot imagine. And they're gonna graze and meditate and live the life that all animals should live. Lax says a million people have visited their gentle barn locations over 25 years. They've worked with homeless and domestic violence shelters, drug and rehabilitation centers, and for people who could just use a hug. You can visit the gentle barn in Dittmer on Sundays from 11 to 1. Reservations are required. So Mike, I know if you want to get a hug. I I've never thought about <laughs> hugging a cow before. It is quite comforting. Yes. That's what Great you're story. Yeah. It is.